Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Zvezda, it's a 148 scale like 3 and it's Soviet fighter, the famous one in 148 scale, it might be an interesting choice because there are not that many decent kits which are copying this and here we have a new tooth plastic so it will be quite uh, I would say a review to check what is actually changed here, what is new and why this plastic is better than all of the available on the market it. What we have here on the table is the final shape of this release. The kit number is 4833 and you should be able to get it in all good model shops and I would like to say thank you for helping me to get this one. So first of all as you can see the box art is really nice. We have here uh, uh, the uh, aircraft flying through the German bombers and the box size I would say it's standard for such release. Here you can see comparison with my hand. It's uh, similar to E16 which I reviewed also recently. Here you can also see the decals map and paints chart and we also have the information about the model so there are 163 parts and the length of the model will be 18 centimeters, 18.4. We also have a small ad for the PA2 from the same brand and I think I reviewed it in a limited edition but it's still something also worth checking. And here on the opposite side you can see three other kits in the same scale. Some of them were reviewed by me as well so it's worth taking a look. And here you can also see the information about the model again and also pictures of the finished kit. Here you can see also the bottom view and also also some parts without the paintwork which is also quite cool. As usual it is sealed with the tape as you can see here. So I'm going to cut through it and we will take a closer look at the parts which are actually included here. So this release is one of the I would say biggest announcements from this brand in 2024 because it's as I said new tooled and that's why we should be able to get the modern tech here I would say and E16 was a really good example of it because the parts just looked completely different from what we are uh, usually expecting from Zvezda and I would say it shows that they are growing in this sense and the overall engineering and the design of the kit was quite nice to see in person especially in this scale. So the plastic bag is sealed here and I'm cutting through it and then we'll immediately start checking the parts. And the first plastic sprue is this frame D. So here it is. And I guess we will get the unusual parts division due to the design of the fighter aircraft. So here you can see the separate propeller blades. I can also see here the instrument panel. These are the cooling panels, exhaust stacks from the both ends of the sprue. Propeller hub is there. Landing gear wheels, which are molded together with the section of the landing gear leg. <laughs> and that's really quite interesting design. Here we also have the back of the pilot seat, which is molded together with the headrest. And then we also have the radiator grills here. And these are some minor pipings. I guess the engine will be also nicely detailed. So let's zoom in and take a closer look at all of these parts. So the overall quality, as you can see, even on the thinnest parts, it is really good looking. So the only thing is just to carefully separate them and attachment points are not overdone so we have one attachment point or maximum two in all of the necessary spots and maybe it's worth flipping over this screw just to check what is from the opposite side so the landing gear wheel is actually assembled out of two house and also here it is interesting that the for example um, rudder it is assembled as a one piece part which is really good because you won't have any ugly seams and gaps in this area next is the frame which I do not see the name of. <laughs> I'm trying to find it but it's not that easy to find here but as you can see these are the engine parts and as I said it's uh, quite good to have the engine included in a 148 scale kit. What is even better to have included is the pilot figure in here and the molding quality looks a bit weird on this frame because we do not have any molding flash on the parts. This is most important thing but we do have on the frame itself so this is quite interesting and the engine parts are clear and crisp as you can see and or clean and crisp if you prefer and here you can also take a closer look at the pilot figurine so the pilot figurine is always appreciated because not that many brands are actually including this so that's why it is good to have here this element or this 
of person and then the engine parts are also nice I guess there will be assembly options with open coding in order to show this engine because otherwise it's just strange to have it included and then you can see these parts from the opposite side so we have the guiding pins as well so it's um, something what is helpful during the assembly and now I'm trying to catch the plastic sprue because here we have the frame B and this is what usually kind of bugs me a bit with the Soviet aircraft because they are plain in terms of the details but this is uh, just like on the real thing because if you come to this aircraft in the museum you will be uh, looking at exactly similar thing it's just plain in the tail area and the only um, rivets you will find is in the cooling area so unfortunately it is like this and uh, well it's I would say a feature of this aircraft from these years and now I think it's worth also taking a closer look so now you can see this uh, fuselage half a bit closer maybe it's worth zooming out a bit so that you can see it whole then we continue with the tail wings and landing gear panels we also have the machine gun here then this is the nose section panels we have the pilot seat with two types of the lower section I guess the this one is used for the pilot figurine so that he fits properly and then we continue with another uh, fuselage half let's flip it over because inside as you can see we have the guiding pins and also some minor interior features so these cockpit walls are looking good and of course it's uh, worth adding some uh, weathering here because it's a 148 scale aircraft so it will be visible even if you have a closed canopy and next is the frame A. I'm just checking what is actually molded here. So I think the landing gear wheel which we saw earlier, it was the tail landing gear wheel. And here we have the main ones. Because as you can see we have the separate tires and we have the separate wheel rims. We also have here the landing gear leg. And also elevator is here. And these are the wing panels. Again, they are quite plain, but again, just like on the real thing. And the flaps are pre-molded. Ailerons are separate here. And if I flip over here, you can check those parts from the opposite side. So note that the top house are actually having the wing edges as the guiding elements. And this is uh, something what is uh, quite often used in the recent aircraft kits. So nothing surprising here and it usually works, it helps you to align parts properly without any unnecessary problems. Next I'm opening another plastic bag with a clear frame. So here we have the canopy parts and as you can see molding quality looks great. We have the middle section molded separately so you can open the canopy. And the only thing is that the masks will not be included here because it's traditional for Zvezda. And, uh, one more thing is the decals. So I just need to take them out. Just give me a second. And for the decals, we have them all on one decal sheet. And as you can see here, we have even the stencils. And we also have some interior decals or cockpit decals. Unfortunately, no seat belts here. So in case you would like to replicate the seat belts, you will have to do it with your own hands and tools or maybe with some aftermarket. I'm sure there will be some, so just uh, keep tracking when it will be released then we continue with uh, well first maybe I will show you the marking guide not the assembly manual because marking guide is printed in color here we have the first and the second marking option and here you can see also the third fourth and the fifth marking option so five markings in one box this is quite good and next we continue with assembly manual so this one is black and white and I mean it is acceptable here because the marking guide is printed in color, so I guess it is fine. And as you can see here, we have the short history node and also assembly options, so you can also assemble the aircraft in flight on the special model stand. And model stand is not included, so remember this. Next, we continue here with the parts map, and assembly process starts with an engine. So, as I said, engine is very detailed here. So that's why it's worth uh, deciding whether you would like to depict it or not. But as you saw, it will be shown only by removing the top cooling section. Next, we continue by installing this uh, engine onto the firewall. And then we also have the air intake. Then we start working on the cockpit, which is also installed onto the wing lower half. And this is also quite interesting assembly. 
sequence. Next we continue with the tail wings, also the main wing gets assembled, as you can see the fuselage halves get joined. Of course you have an option of the pilot being installed into the cockpit or seated into the cockpit. Next we continue with the ailerons and the landing gear and then you have an option of using the model stand with the closed landing gear if you would like to. Here you can see also another option with the open cooling as I was saying and one more option is to open the canopy so quite a lot of uh, assembly options and here we have the stenciling guide. So overall I would say it's a decent offering of this uh, quite famous aircraft and five markings in one box is also good. So if you would like to have your copy then definitely check it out and price is quite reasonable you can get it even for 20 euros. So it's uh, a lot of stuff for this price I would say and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.